Hello again everyone, welcome back, this is part 5 of Let's Play the Xenosaga series. In part 4 we were introduced to Ziggy, who went on a top secret mission to rescue the 100 series Reallian Momo, which he successfully did, and then they were trying to escape from Margulis and the Utic organization, and also Xi'an. Uh, after that, we came back into contact with Xi'an and company, and Xi'an is currently tasked with the very important mission of delivering Commander Cherenkov his dinner. So, let us find the good commander. And go from there. I believe to find the commander, we need to go in this elevator. Would you like to go to B1? I would like to go there, thank you. Nobody's here. I believe it's flashback time. Yes, it is. Who could that hooded individual be? So you're the Trust this will work correctly. But why? control of the UTIC organization. Any resistance whatsoever will be met with deadly force. So don't even think about trying anything. As long as you follow our orders, you will not be harmed. We appreciate your cooperation. I think this flashback takes place two years prior to uh, in-game present day.
same archetype from before? She's not human. I don't know what a bullet to the head's going to do to her. Was she on and her hot plate? Obtained ether pack. Use of cargo elevator is restricted to the transportation of cargo only. Obtained that kit. Obtain that kit. Obtain to ether upgrade S. Go to lower level. Let's go down. I'm not sure if this is the way I want to go. This is cr no, this is not. This is not where I want to go. Well, as long as we're down here, there's hammer. Huh? What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just looking for the commander. Hey, what happened to the pod we were in? Oh, if you need the escape pod, we cleared it out already. After all, it may be small, but military escape pods use cutting-edge technology. They sell for quite a lot to the right people. I see, so you put the pod up for sale? Oh, shoot. I'm really sorry. Please pretend that you didn't hear that. It was all the captain's idea. Oh, it's completely alright. It's not like it belonged to me, and I'm sure to the military it's just another piece of equipment. Another segment address. Discovered segment address number 14. Ether upgrade S. 100G. Fiber suit. 150G. And absolutely nothing. Okay, so there's nothing for me down here anymore. See you, Handler. Okay, so we need to head back up, I think. Maybe not. The slide deck is currently locked and cannot be operated. In order to operate the slide deck, you will need a disarm key, which I don't think we can get now. I think we can get that later. Another segment address. This is number eight. Okay, let's see if I can use this save point. Let's do a save state and yes, excellent. I think the rest of the save points in the game, for the most part, are going to be okay to use. Make a new save file, just in case. Let's 
safety lock of electromagnetic floor confirmed. The anti-intruder program cannot be activated at this time. And there's Chaos. Oh, Chaos, were you able to talk with Kosnos? No, she seemed to be asleep, so I didn't want to bother her. I'll try again later. Oh, that's too bad. But she was quite beautiful, even asleep. Why, thank you. By the way, have you seen the commander? I saw the commander go into the maintenance lab. Just go up the elevator on the left and the hangar up ahead. Really? You're a great help. Thanks. Use the lift? Yes. I believe the commander is right inside this door. You've been shaking that whole time. You. Oh, um, I didn't see you in your room. I, I thought you might be a little hungry. What were you doing? I was looking at her. At Cosmos? With a gun in your hand? Oh, this. I it's a bad habit. I see. Well, you are a soldier after all. I know someone with a habit like that. He's always carrying a sword around with a weird grin plastered on his face. Don't you think that's dangerous? Uh, yeah. That's definitely dangerous. So this is the android that can take on the Gnosis. She sure doesn't look like it. Yeah. But, regardless of what she looks like, she's still a weapon. I suppose you're right. Before we left the Woglinde, what was his name? Lieutenant Virgil? He was killed by this android's battle algorithm, wasn't he? I'm not trying to blame you. Logic, reason, they can bring about death. Happens all the time. I... never thought she would ever do something like that. You programmed her basic logic architecture, right? Yes, pretty much. I always thought of her like a daughter. Or more like a friend, maybe. But... I see. Well, I doubt we could have saved the lieutenant from that situation anyway. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. I noticed you eat very neatly. Hmm? Ah, uh, that's part of who I am. At least, now, that is. So, what were you doing on the Woglinde? Why... why do you ask? Just... wondering. You somehow seemed... different from the other crew members. The Woglinde task force was assembled hastily. Besides, I'm a soldier. I'll go to where I'm assigned. A uh, soldier? Ah, uh, the Rukin sector. Well, looks like we've lost them. Yeah, thanks to your linking directly to the main controls. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I just received a UMN pulse. Preparing the long distance jump to the Federation capital of Fifth Jerusalem. Momo, we're not going back to the subcommittee headquarters. What? Why not? I was told to escort you to the autonomous government of Second Milsha. I'm sorry. 
Those were my orders. All right. Now setting course for Milshan's star system. I've received word that the 100 series is on board a ship headed for 2nd Milsha. Well, that was fast. Once she's safely transferred to the UMN Control Center on 2nd Milsha, we'll finally have a little peace of mind. It's all such a bother, though. It would have been so much easier to perform the analysis here. We can't decode the protection in that Reallian here. We have to send her to the UMN Control Center located at the former Vector Transfer Gate control facility. That's right. Besides, the entire area within a few dozen light years of Old Milsha has been sealed off ever since that incident 14 years ago. So this certainly beats traveling through regular space. Yoakim Mizrahi. You really outdid yourself this time. Oh, don't worry about it. You're absolutely right. By the way, do you really think the Y data is hidden within that Reallian? We have conclusive evidence that she holds the code to unlock the UMN transfer gate leading to the sealed off sector. Aside from that, she's pretty much a mystery. We'll just have to open her up and see. If she doesn't have it, we'll be required to delay the Zohar project. How will we explain that to the Council? Even if it's lost, we still have one other lead. Let me pull up my documents. This image was processed from the only remaining surveillance camera. The picture's unclear, but that boy served as Joachim's assistant. Judging from the time frame, we believe he was somehow involved with the Y data. Where did the boy come from? The records are missing. The only information we have is that he was 14 and studying at the University of Bormio. But even that's just second-hand information from Mizrahi. He got into Bormio at 14? Must have been pretty smart. You don't know what happened to him? Correct. It's currently under investigation. If he's alive, he'd be 28 years old now. This research paper is on the secondary effects of the Hilbert Wave. The Hilbert Effect? Do you think there's a chance he slipped into Vector? Back when UTIC was still the Mizrahi Cerebral Sciences Research Center, Mizrahi's main patron was none other than Vector. It's certainly a possibility. There's no concrete evidence, of course. Dr. Mizrahi, Please continue your investigation of this issue. Yes, of course. In any case, our first priority is to get access to the old Milsha sector. Our hands are tied until we recover the original Zohar located there. Meanwhile, on the Elsa. Okay, back in control of Xi'an. Oh, that curry was, well, it was very good. Commander, just say thank you for dinner. Oh, right. Thank you for dinner. You're welcome. I hope you really liked it. I'm sure he did. Hey, in this vector, if you're just lounging around, come to the bridge for a sec. What could it be? I wonder if something happened. Alright, let's head back to the bridge. In a second. Not here, not nor there, or anywhere. 
Man, where the heck is it? Damn, you should be more organized. Whoever's responsible, come on out. That would be me. I'm the one responsible. Okay, this is not the time to be doing these kinds of stupid things. Um, is something the matter? Hmm? Oh, Shion, it's you. I was just looking for something, but I just, but I just can't find it. How about it? You want to help out, help, help out little old me? I guess I'll help. Really? Shion, you're the one I can always count on to be there. So, what are you looking for? It's a map of all the hazardous sectors in space. The captain went and lost it, and now he's yelling at me to find it. Well, I figure it's got to be somewhere on this ship. A hazardous area map? Sure, I'll look for it. Thanks, you're a great help. Find it as quick as you can. And off the top of the head, I have no idea where it is. But, I'm sure in our travels... We'll come across it. Hmm, nothing down here, it looks like. Although this is the site of a future boss fight. Obtained coat beam. Speaking of which... She can't cook that? Oh, yes she can. Alright, let's give her that. That's a nice little upgrade. Alright, now we'll head back to the bridge. And I don't know if anyone's noticed this so far in the, I don't know, four, five, six hours that um, this playthrough has gone on. But if you noticed, while the music in this game that I think is absolutely fantastic, almost every explorable area in the game is void of any music whatsoever. And I always thought it was a really odd design, design decision to not have music in explorable areas. I know the last part of the game, the last uh, dungeon, the last level, whatever you want to call it, that has music, but um, most other areas do not. Okay, back up the ladder and then to the bridge. Well, I guess I should say back up the ladder and then up the elevator and then to the bridge. Go to floor 1F. Yes, please. again that's so weird what is it it's the catapult deck there seems to be something wrong with the hatch air pressure no leaks at the moment I wonder if it's the electrical system shall I take a look at it uh, that'd be great doesn't look like a leak but be careful just in case got it all the way back up here for that. The PA announcement? Oh, I just wanted to ask you to help us prepare for the gate jump. Great timing. Can you go check the catapult? 
What? The hazardous area now? What do you need that for? Tony's looking for it. What the hell is he doing? It's right here, of course. Huh? I'm saying that I have it. See? This is it, right? Tell that moron to quit goofing off and get back here right now. Obtain hazardous area map. Well, that was easier to find than I thought. Hmm. I think it'll probably be okay. The catapult on this ship is jerry-rigged. Well, I can't really get into what exactly is jerry-rigged since it's the ship's sec greatest secret. Does that mean you have equipment that violates Federation laws? Huh? Uh, looking at me like that won't work. I can't tell you any more than that. So, the catapult. Where, oh where, is the catapult? I can't go that way. Yes, 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 I know. I have a feeling we need to go right back to where we came from. Upgrade A. Obtained 50G. Obtained 150G. Obtained 200G. Brings her right back here. Actually, this isn't where I want to be, but uh, we'll give Tony the map. I can't remember what we get for doing this, but let's find out. Hey, you find it. Atta girl, Shion. Where the heck was it? Um, that's the weird thing. The captain had it. What? That stupid, senile jackass. Did a gnosis suck out his brain or something? He ordered me to find it while he had it all along? What? Sheesh. Oh, sorry. It's got nothing to do with you. Thanks for finding it. Hang on to this. Obtain Nedkit DX. Okie dokie. Yeah, I don't think I want to go here. I think I need to go back to where I was talking to Hammer earlier. So let's do that. I think this is a shop. Hello, I am in charge of maintaining this ship. Is there anything you need? I will sell you anything on this ship for cheap. I ap I'd appreciate your patronage so the captain can repay his debts. Well, I guess we can upgrade this stuff. Generator. Res 
restore its hit points. There's that. And of course, we have all these amazing weapons. I mean, the SWD-21AG, the SWD-34VX, the LG-10AG, LG-24VX, and so on and so forth. What do I want to get? Well, let's just buy one of each. If I can afford it all, that is. Thank you, thank you very much. I look forward to your next visit. Books, I want eggs. I want eggs. Increase that a little bit. So, like I said before, you don't really use the eggs all that much in the game. They're not all that necessary. But, might as well upgrade them if we can. We'll save again, just for fun. Now, I believe we want to go... Well, not this way. Obtain Neg Kit. Obtained 5 Ether Upgrade A. Obtained Biosphere. Okay, so I think this is where I want to go. I want to go all the way down to the end. And let's see what happens. Hmm, everything checks out normal. Hmm, nothing seems to be wrong. Since something's wrong. All right, so let's head back to, I'm assuming, the bridge. We'll find out what the next near death experience is that will await us. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, back at the bridge. Let's see what's going on now. Thank you for choosing the UMN transport gate. We would like to confirm your vessel's registration. Organization, Kukai Foundation. Vessel class, Type 2 cargo ship. Vessel number, MFHE 59824751. Vessel name, Elsa. Captain, Mr. Matthews. Is this correct? Yep, you got it. We got a little carried away. There will be a surcharge on the bill sent to the Kukai Foundation. Will that be all right? Yeah, that's fine. Very well. Have a safe journey. I had a feeling they'd notice. Well, we did pick up some extra junk. Ah, nothing to worry about, right? We always go over the limit. That's true. You could have billed Vector for it. You crazy? Things are already complicated enough as is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, still on the Elsa. I have to say, I'm very impressed. I'll transfer the gun controls to you. Could you please take care of the return fire? Roger. I wouldn't be much of a bodyguard if I didn't. to be kidding me. This is ridiculous. But, but there's nothing I can do about it. I, I'm just passing on the orders. And I'm saying those orders are unacceptable. Oh, forget it. It's not doing me any good talking to you. Get the director on the line now. Yes, ma'am. Just a moment, please. Chief, did you see how scared she was? You're even scaring me. You don't have to yell, you know? What do you expect? How could you expect me not to yell about this? Uh, mm -hmm. Director, what is the meaning of this? It means exactly what it says. I see. Unless this is a figment of my imagination, it looks like it says that as soon as Cosmos receives her secondary equipment, we're to turn her over to the second R&D division on second Milsha and return immediately to headquarters. Like I said, it means exactly what it says. This was the plan from the beginning. I don't see why this is such a problem. Director! Xion, please don't give me a hard time about this. I understand how you feel. But I've read your report, and it appears as though there are no major problems with Cosmos. No, sir. You don't understand at all. Are you listening to me? She's moving around on her own accord. I can't turn her over to the second division before determining the cause. It's still far too dangerous to use her at full battle spec. And besides, you should know full well that I understand her better than anyone else. She informed me about what happened on the Woglinde. Fortunately, we didn't suffer any human casualties. 
but it sounded like it could have been catastrophic. Do you really expect me to leave you and the others in such circumstances? I'm well aware of the risks. Even so! Director! All right. Have it your way. I'll smooth things over with the people upstairs. Miyuki can take care of the paperwork. Thank you, sir. One condition. Don't do anything foolish. The moment you sense even the slightest bit of danger, get out of there immediately. I don't ever want to see a repeat of what happened two years ago. Got it? Understood, sir. Hey, good going, Chief! I just did what I had to do. I'm just so glad that you're safe. Oh, you should have notified us sooner that you were okay. The military sent us a notice saying that you were killed in the skirmish. The whole department was in an uproar. You have a lot of admirers. Oh, come on. Stop joking around. No, it's true. So, what about me? <laughs> see me here. Hey, I was missing too, you know. You're kidding. I didn't even notice. Didn't notice? Well, what about the others? No one said a thing. Guess uh -huh. they just forgot about you. You don't really make a strong impression on people. But hey, it's great that you're okay too, I guess. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel a whole lot better. <sighs> over to the bridge you don't need to shout I can hear you just fine just take a look at this Wow! I had no idea there are ships that small that can enter hyperspace the other small ship. I'm sorry, I have no idea. There's a distress call coming from the small ship. Why aren't we helping them? We've got enough trouble just dealing with you guys. Damn! We're in their line of fire! What? Get out of the way! <laughs> what? If we hit the column walls, it's over!
Yeah, these guys must like trouble. You okay back there? Yep, I'm fine. That's what I like to hear. This is insane! 
insane! We've got trouble. They're taking over the rear hangar. I'm detecting transfer waves. They're calling in terminal units. We'll just have to take them on. Prepare for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Seal the internal barrier doors. Roger. I'll take the corridor. I'll go too. No, it's too dangerous. I can't let you go by yourself, Chaos. Don't worry, I've got Cosmos with me. Right, Cosmos? Yes, I will eliminate the enemy units. But don't damage the ship, understand? Understood. I will proceed at 30% output. Alec, go find the commander and protect the cabin. Huh? Are you serious? I'm counting on you. Okay, so who do we have here? We have Xion, Cosmos, and Chaos. So let's take a look here. Can Xion learn some new ether skills? She should be able to. We got Analyze, which will analyze the enemy and tell you what items and their each keys, their each key uh, number is. And goodbye, which allows you to escape. So let's learn analyze. And let's learn goodbye. And it doesn't look like I can learn anything else. So now let's set these two. Don't want to forget like I did the last uh, I think the last episode, the last part. Cosmos lowers an enemy, an enemy's dexterity for bio and gnosis enemies. Looks like that's all I can do for now. And for chaos, can't do anything yet because we haven't used it in combat yet. I don't think there is anything that I want to use here. I guess we can leave that as it is for now. Alright, so after almost an hour of cutscenes, looks like we can finally get into uh, a few battles here. So let's head down below. Electromagnetic floor, we might be able to slow down the enemies a bit. The anti intruder program has been activated. All crew in affected sectors, please evacuate immediately. Repeat, crew in affected sectors, please evacuate immediately. Here's our chance. We have to get to the hangar right away. Alright, so we need to go back down this uh, ladder. We 
must first get to the bridge in order to explain the situation to the person in charge. Can you make it? Teehee! Don't you remember what I said earlier? I'm built a lot tougher than I look. That's right, then. Let's go. Teehee! Ziggy level 10, Momo hits level 8. Very nice. I will show you what a true battle is like. Please do. Okay, one of you jerks come near me. Seriously? Oh, that was a waste. Oh! <laughs> 
I guess I should hit M. We won! We did. Let's heal. Oh my god, turn around. You stupid enemy. That was a waste. Those scrap iron that we're acquiring at the end of battle, you just sell those for money. Are you in charge of this ship? Oh no, I'm just a passenger. More importantly, are you two the only ones on that ship? Yes, that's right. I am the Federation government cyborg, Ziggurat. Call me Ziggy. She is Momo. She's a realien. She is with the Federation government just like me. Hello, I'm Momo. Thank you for saving us. I see. I'd like to say thank goodness you're safe, but enemy units have invaded the ship. It's way too early to be saying that. Who are these people after you? The enemy units are auto techs that the UTIC organization uses. Basically, they're unmanned fighter craft. We escape from their base, and they are the last of the pursuit. Unfortunately, the mothership has a transfer system. The combat units will continue to arrive unless we destroy the mothership. So unless we do something, the enemy will overrun the ship. I'm sorry for getting you involved in this. What? Oh no, don't let it bother you. It isn't your fault, Ziggy. More importantly, we have to do something about that mothership. Agreed. We can't do much, but we will help too. It's my responsibility to take care of this. We? As in Momo too? Yes, she might not look it, but she's actually more useful than me. Really? Well, I don't know about that, but I'll do my best. Okay, let's hurry. We have too many people to fight the enemy at one time. We should decide who's going to participate in the fighting. Ziggy, Kosnos, and Shion. 
I think I would rather have... Chaos, Cosmos, and Xi'an. Should be good for now. We'll just do a save state really quick. Obtain frame repair A. Obtain skill upgrade S. Alright, let's kick his ass. I guess there's no choice but to fight. There is no choice, Cash. You are correct. Skill slot. Oh, yes, I can. Excellent. The enemies have been exterminated. Antidote. All battle systems are go. Good to know. Heal, but we'll heal with Momo since we're not using her in battle. Don't want to waste Xion's EP if I don't need to. We're finally here. Listen. The enemy mother chick is back there. Don't let your guard down. Didn't plan on it. Oh, wait a minute. I, I don't want to go this way. Do I? No. No, no, no. I don't want to go this way. Okay. 
Why am I drawing a blank? Where I did want to go that way. Damn it, I'm stupid. My fault. I absolutely wanted I to go that no way. Choice but to fight. I guess that's not gonna work. Oh well. The enemies have been exterminated. Alright, Coastal's level levels up to nine, Shion levels up to ten, two scrap iron, excellent. So yes, I do want to go this way. I don't really need to use this, but I'll use it anyway. What? What are you gonna do? She seems to dirty very easily. Get out of my way, or else. Yeah. This is the last fight before we get to the boss. Again, let's heal. And I don't think Chaos is... Yeah, he hasn't earned enough E points to learn anything new, so... And once again, we're gonna make a save state, just in case. If we disable that thing, we'll put a stop to the Autotech invasion. Snake 
making sure there's nothing else down here. And there's not, so... Let's take this guy on. Holy mother of God. Unleash some of thy powers. So, the way that works is right now, anytime the, the boost event slot comes up, if it's the enemy's turn during that slot, then he'll use that Tremors attack, which pretty much wrecks me good. So, I need to avoid that. So, let's attack him once. Okay, so this down decks will not work on that enemy. Oh, that was kind of stupid of me. I wanted to, uh... I should have healed with chaos there. Oh well. Rocking that zero damage. Wow. Chaos, let's heal with him again. Unleash some of thy powers. Okay, so I think this turn, the enemy's gonna get his turn on the boost event slot and use Tremors again. However, I think... I should have enough hit points to survive it. Should. No, he didn't. Excellent. Alright, so... Everyone's doing pretty good on hit points. His, the enemy's turn does not come up during that slot. This should be pretty much a cakewalk.
Ice Land. I forgot he did that. Well... Let's do this then. Let's... I don't want him going when he has the critical event slot showing. But I also don't want him going in the next slot because then he'll use tremors. Good, he missed. again. Oh, brother. So he must do this every time. So what we're gonna have to do is get him to a point where everyone has enough boost that I can just continuously attack him and not allow him another turn to recover. I wanted Coastalus to kill him here, but I don't think she's going to be able to. Yeah, she's not going to do enough damage. Unless... What is that? 53 HP. Kinda of risking it here, but see if Xi'an can kill him right here. Oh yeah, she will. Just in the off chance I get points times ten, it's worth it. Well, times two, but still. Nice little bonus. Who would have thought one of Miyuki's inventions would come in handy? Okay, Chaos hits level 12, Coastal's level 10, Xion level 11. And Xion learned a new attack, Shock Blade. And we acquired anti beam armor. Just rolling in the spoils.
How's it look? We got problems all over. The entire radar system is down. I bet the emitter's completely fried now. The generator output keeps on dropping. I guess we ran the ship into the hyperspace column walls a few times too many, thanks to a certain idiot who flies like a maniac. What? Hey! Who do you think it was that saved us? I wish you'd consider what the navigator has to go through. I'm getting carpal tunnel thanks to you. Why don't you just direct link it? Isn't it obvious? It's way cooler to navigate by hand. Are you stupid or something? Mind your own business. At least I'm more useful than a certain out-of-control lunatic. Oh, okay now. So you think you're the man, huh? You wanna go? What you got? Bring it on. That's okay. enough! Both of you morons, shut up! I agree. I'm sick of listening to your whining! Me too. My head hurts enough just thinking about what these repairs are gonna cost. Preach on, brother. The last thing I need is to babysit the two of you. Hallelujah. Uh, we're back. No. If I had known I'd be doing this, I would have spent more time at the firing range. Hmm? What's going on? Nothing. Good work. So... Who are these guys? She's Momo. And this is Ziggy. Looks like they're both with the Federation government. Nice to meet you. You two were the ones in the ship out there? Thank you very much for rescuing us. Thanks for your help. They were being held by the UTIC organization, but they managed to escape. The UTIC organization? Captain. <laughs> Never thought I'd have to hear that cursed name again. What is it? That you whatever. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, stop wasting time and plot our course already. You heard him. It's nothing a stupid navigator needs to worry about. Hurry up and clean up the top of the panel. The stuff's in the way. What? You're the one who left these here. Don't take it out on me. This is for you. Thanks, Cosmos. Alan, wake up already. What's wrong with you? Oh, thanks. Just set it down there. I'm telling you, that was crazy. It was a close one, wasn't it? I gotta say, though, those were some pretty sweet moves out there, old man. Thank you very much. What? Whoa! Hold on a sec, that was you? Well, yes. I handled the flight controls. Oh. Unbelievable. Shown up by a little girl. Kids these days. That's pretty amazing, <laughs> even for a realian. Hey, that insignia on your uniform... Yes? Is that... Are you from the Mizrahi lab? Yes, I'm a 100... I'm an observational realian. It's okay, you don't have to worry. If you're concerned about government secrets, Cosmos is one too. So, you're a 100 series observational realian from the Mizrahi lab. A Hilbert equipped model, right? Cosmos is equipped with it too, you know. The Hilbert effect. But of course, ours is a Vector Original. You're with Vector Industries? Yep. So is Alan hey. over there. Be alone. By the way, where are you headed? We might be able to get you there for a small fee if it's not too far out of the way. Right, Captain? Yeah, of course. After all, we are in the transport business. Transport? Then could you please take us to Second Mill... Could you please take us to the second Milshan star system? Second Milsha? You too? What do you mean, you too? What a coincidence. Oh, um, it's just a strange coincidence, that's all. Cosmos's new deployment is on second Milsha also. Hey, that's great. It'll cost less if you're all going the same way, Xion. Well, I suppose that's true. Captain, well, what about ship repairs? Yeah. We gotta take care of that first. Let's stop at a nearby dock colony. That all right with you? Of course. Thank you for taking us. Well, relax and enjoy the trip. Hey, Ms. Vector, show him around, would you? Hmm, he's being unusually nice. 
spot. I got a booger hanging out of my nose or... What? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Nothing, nothing. All right then. Shall we go? Momo? Ziggy? Okay, where are we going exactly? Perhaps in here? Yes. This is Kagwin 2. They actually let me use this huge Kagwin by myself. You could use it all by yourself, Xion? Yes, I think the captain was trying to be thoughtful because I'm a woman. The captain did that? But why? It's more fun to be with everyone. Haha, <laughs> that's true. To be honest, I was a little lonely. But starting today, you'll be with me, so I won't be so lonesome anymore. I hope we'll make good roommates. Momo. Yes, I hope we'll be good roommates too. I'm tired. Maybe we should call it a day? Yeah, I'm a little sleepy. No, I have to show them around properly. Yes, I'm a little sleepy. Good night. And on that note, we're going to call it quits for this part. Um, I do believe in the next section, without looking it up, um, I believe we get introduced to the last main character of this game. Um, so that's what we'll do next time. Next time will be part six. Until then, take care. Goodbye.